Hello people, welcome back. This question is from gate 2014 exam and is for two marks. They are saying some router with MTU is equal to 1500 bytes receives a IP datagram of this size, double four zero four bytes. Okay. Now they are asking what will be the properties of third fragment. The router is going to fragment this. What is ambit total length and fragment offset for the third fragment? that this router will create okay now i'll do one thing i'll just display the image of this question you can have a look if you want to read this question you can read it okay also you can have a look at the four options now let's start this question they are saying mtu is equal to 1500 what is the meaning of this point mtu means how much data can a frame carry at maximum mtu is maximum transmittable unit at data link layer, we prepare frames. Frame except for header and trailer can carry maximum of 1500 bytes according to this question. Now a IP packet will be placed inside a frame. That means maximum size of IP packet can be 1500. Because if IP packet is greater than 1500 bytes, then we cannot fit a IP packet inside a frame. Okay. Now we have got to know the limitation of entire IP packet. What is the limitation on data? Maximum data inside a IP packet can be 1480 bytes only. Okay. So data will be 1480 bytes. Assuming that header is of 20 byte. It's given in the question that headers are of 20 byte. The IP headers. Okay. Now see. Maximum data that can be present inside a IP datagram is 1480. But the datagram which this router has received contains 4, 3, 8, 4 bytes. Okay, this is the total size minus 20 bytes of header. That means these many bytes of data is present inside this datagram. This is more than what the limitation is. That means this router will fragment this datagram. Okay. It will create smaller parts and then it will be transmitted on the network whose MTU is 1500. Okay. For fragmentation, step one is just remove the IP header. Okay. This 20 bytes of header, it will be removed and it will be saved in some buffer memory. Okay. The header is saved. Now we are going to create smaller parts of data like this. Okay. So these are called fragments. Maximum size of a fragment or maximum size of data that one packet can contain is 1480. Now one thing that you need to verify is size of fragment must be divisible by it because this one this size is going to act as fragment offset. Okay. And in fragment offset the scaling factor is 8. So just divide it by 8. So you can see this will be 185 something. Okay, this is divisible by 8. The thing is 1480 is divisible by 8. That means fragment can have size 1480. Had this number not been divisible by 8, then we have to reduce some bits. Okay, we have to reduce this number such that it is divisible by 8. Anyways, in this question, you need not do anything. So, the size of first fragment will be 1480. Let us see how many total fragments are going to be created. So the total amount of data is 4, 3, 8, 4 bytes. Okay. We have seen that uh, the total size of uh, this datagram was 4, 4, 0, 4 maybe. And if you remove 20 byte header, you will be left with this much data. Now it has to be fragmented into fragments of size 1480. Okay. If you divide it, you are going to get something 1480 into 2 is 2960. So you are going to get 2 point something. Okay. It will be 2.9 maybe. Yeah, it's 2.9. That means if from this much data, you try to create smaller parts of this size, two parts will be of complete 1480 bytes. That means first fragment will have 1480. Second fragment will also have 1480 and third fragment will have only 0 0.9 of 1480, these many bytes, okay. So this last fragment will actually be smaller than first two fragments. How many total fragments are there? Just take at ceiling like this. 
total number of fragments are three okay that means the third fragment they are asking about is the last fragment that belongs to this datagram okay anyways see two fragments are complete of 1480 bytes the last fragment is smaller anyways this is a fragment right so total three fragments are there now see let me just use the calculator to find out how much data is present in this so first two fragments contain two nine six zero bytes total was four three eight four four three eight four minus two nine six zero this is one four two four that means this last fragment it has one four two four these many bytes of data only maximum it can contain up to 1480 okay now see for this last fragment what will be the value of ambit obviously ambit is going to be zero so ambit is zero why is ambit zero ambit means are there more fragments which belong to this datagram no this is the last one there are no more fragments so ambit is zero for this one for this fragment ambit will be one because there are more fragments okay for this one also ambit will be one because after this fragment there are more fragments which belong to this datagram only anyways for the last one or third fragment ambit is zero i'm just writing it here i'm writing answer here ambit is equal to zero okay next thing that they're asking is total length there is 14 24 bytes of data in the last fragment on these data bytes 20 byte header will be added so total will be this plus 20 that is 1444 4, 4. okay so total length will be 1444 bytes total length is equal to 1 triple 4 these many bytes okay see the router will take this fragment and it will add a 20 byte header so these 1480 plus 20 byte header it will be 1500 and 1500 can easily be placed in one frame okay so first fragment will be sent similarly these 1480 bytes plus 20 byte header how will the router just determine what has to be written in the header it will be based on the original header plus the parameters of fragmentation that means the ambit tl etc etc okay Similarly, this last one will be taken. It is only 1424, 1424 bytes. On this 20 byte header will be applied. So total becomes 1444, which is also answer. Now, the third thing that we need to determine is fragment offset. Fragment offset means how many bytes of data has already been transmitted in fragments that were created earlier, okay? For this one, already two fragments are created these two how much data is present in the fragments that were created earlier that is 1480 plus 1480 it will be 2960 right yeah 2960 so fragment offset value is 2960 now you very well know that whatever is the original or actual value that will be divided by 8 before 7 fragment offset field has very less number of bits so actual value is taken and we divide it by 8 if you want to know the exact details you can watch my theory lectures on fragmentation anyways sender will just divide this by 8 before saving and retriever or the receiver while retrieving it will just multiply the value by 8 so there will be no change you just divide 2960 by 8 for getting to know what will actually be saved inside fragment offset 2960 divided by 8 gives you 370 okay so this is the value of fragment offset and in fragment offset field in the actual header we are going to save 370 okay so answer is fragment offset is equal to 370 okay this is the answer maybe it was option a i don't remember you can just see the options and you can take the appropriate one okay